In my home, there's always a lot of excitement around the holiday of Sukkot. We're in the process of decorating our sukkah. Now, the night before the holiday, I came up with the crazy idea of a new project I want to do. And we always try to add something nice and something new every year. What's it going to be this year? So I want to take you through step by step my newest project for the holiday of Sukkot. I think it'll be nice, but I haven't done it yet, so let's give it a try. For this project, I'm planning on using a wood burner, and I'm going to be doing it on a round wooden plaque. Got it from Home Depot, and uh, just some pencil and rulers for sketching. Those are pretty much all the supplies that you need, and an eraser, and of course, it's important to have a pickle jar. Number one, in case you get hungry, you need a snack during the project. And number two. At this point, I'm just doing a basic sketch. The design is based on a verse that the Torah, the Jewish Bible, is a tree of life. It supports us and life comes from it. It's called Eitz Chaim, a tree of life, and it's a verse from Psalms, Eitz Chaim Hil Machzikim Ba. Here you see the basic sketch with the Hebrew words, Eitz Chaim, and you kind of see the beginnings of the tree and the roots and the Torah scroll at the bottom of those roots. This is the point where I start the actual wood burning. There are three tips that I use for the wood burners. I use the chisel point, a sharp point, and also a leaf, which we'll talk about later. The chisel is much better for just drawing straight lines and for doing thick shading. And the point is good for curves and fine details. But in wood with a grain, especially when a piece of wood are glued together, like in this piece, um, it gets kind of hard to draw a straight line. And you'll see sometimes in the close-ups that they're really kind of sloppy. Okay. You kind of have to work with it. This point is, say, after 2 in the morning, um, still going strong. And here you see it's starting to come together, but see some of the lines are a little bit thick, are a little bit um, bent and, and warped. Shaky and wobbly and need a little help. We'll see what we do. At this point, I'm adding more detail to the drawing. It's upside down, but as you can see, the tree is growing out of a Torah scroll, and the Torah scroll is actually connected to the roots of the tree that is being drawn right now going into the scroll, and then the top of the Torah scroll, the wooden parts, is usually called Atechaim, literally trees of life. And the Torah kind of grows into and shoots into these uh, branches that come up through the Torah. I thought that was a cool, um, inspired idea, and I'm very happy that I had it. And um, I was really curious to see how it would take form. I didn't have a clear picture until I started. Now here, I start taking the wooden part of the the wood from the Torah and some other parts and shading them darker. And I do that just by taking the chisel tip and by very gently brushing it along. And I'll show you in a moment how I do that um, with the chisel tip. Here's a little more detail of it. Observe how lightly I just touch it gently and it doesn't burn it completely, but just adds like this fine brown amount but it's staggered because the wood is naturally grained. So it will come out looking like a wood with a grain, not like a painting, very natural, very real. And it smells amazing too. It smells like the, the burnt wood. So it's just a very natural, real kind of feel as opposed to painted wood or even stained wood. Um, I really like the way, the way this comes out, especially the, the shaded parts of it. I ended up shading a lot more than I initially planned on it. Here, adding more detail, uh, adding more of the branches, and finally starting a little bit with the leaves. I have a special leaf-shaped tip to the uh, wood burner. As you see, the leaves being added, uh, they're harder than they look, but as I fill in more leaves is when the tree really starts to look like a tree. And then, of course, after that, we add a lot more shading to the branches and to everything else, and here we're getting close to the finished product. Um, and here I put it on the tree and you see in the sukkah it's kind of growing out of the tree and then the Torah is the tree and I left the leaves of the tree actually intact so it's growing into the tree and really is 
representation of the Torah being our tree of life in our sukkah. I'm so happy. Um, it's beautiful, and uh, it will really enhance our holiday. I hope you have a beautiful holiday of Sukkot as well. This is Rabbi Donnie Locker. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more Jewish crafts, or if you love the Selfie Torah videos or Nagila Weeklies, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and visit often. Comment, share, and have a Nagila Sukkot.